For as long as I can remember, the agreed epidemic with duck work has always been undersized returns. Now, I continue to find efforts with regards to sizing these days, but rules of duck design are just going ignored. I'm gonna concentrate on one rule that will give you the same effect as undersized ducks. On a supply and return when the trunk is wider than the plenum, a transition fitting must be used. Welcome back, I'm Chris Morin with HVAC Pro Blog, and this week we're gonna talk about rules of duct design and one in particular, using a transition fitting. Although we are far from perfect here in New England when it comes to duct sizing, I've seen great strides in fixing this issue, particularly with replacement systems. Let's face it, you should just be properly sizing ductwork on new installations anyway. Undersized ducts cause large restrictions in airflow, raising static pressure and lowering cubic feet per minute or CFM. Or with ECM motors, it could raise the amperage above full load. A big contributor to this is lack of transitions in the duct system, which create turbulence and restrictions. Even if your return duct is large enough for the volume of air that you need, abrupt changes in size without transitions will drastically change your static pressure in the return, most likely driving it above design. Take this for example. Imagine the force needed to pull the full volume of air through that nice IAQ filter. Now in this one, at least the entire filter is being used. I do frequently find larger filter boxes out there that are bigger than the return side of your furnace or air handler. Now, this is a waste of surface filter area, but at least it's less of a restriction. Now let's take a look at this one. This is a common mistake when installing a high performance filter in most upflow furnaces and basements. That new filter box will push the return drop far enough away from the connection with the return trunk. And a lot of guys out there will make this connection without a transition. I mean, let's face it, when it's Friday afternoon, they're gonna do what they need to do to get that furnace operating. Unfortunately, when they start that furnace up and it's extremely noisy because of this duct restriction, they do things like cut filter grills or return grills right into the return drop. This will significantly impact the load on the air conditioner. Remember, we want that return air to be pulled back from the conditioned space, not from the moisture laden basement. I'm gonna leave you with this last example. Can you tell me what's going on in this one in the comments below? Geez, I hope it wasn't you. Thanks again for joining me this week at HVAC Pro Blog, where we provide advice for residential system design, quality installation, and system diagnosis. I'll see you soon.